to create our 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 user so the next thing now we're gonna have to since we have done that did pip install and then we did superset db upgrade and then we exported the flask app variable and then we created our admin you can load this sample the load sample data you can do that but i'm not going to do that i want to start my superset on a fresh ground i'm not going to load the sample data so i'm going to skip that this stage it's okay you can skip it you don't have to worry about it you can skip it and then now after that you initialize so you run superset in it while it's initializing then we go on to the big part this part let me copy it sorry oh come on after initialization you test this so you're going to see that we're now running superset run uh, this at port 80 88 with threads and all that right so if we run this if you were to run this like press enter what it's going to do is it's going to launch this superset on the local host so you're going to see that the default ip address that you're going to be given is the local host one 127.0.0.1 this is not what we want so we need to close it and then deactivate sorry deactivate clear and then let's activate that oh come on let's activate that virtual environment again and try to run so for you to run superset on our ec2 instance we also need to pass in a flag or an attribute of a host so we need to specify the host ip address so the host ip address for you to use it you're gonna have to um, specify either 0.0.0.0 right and then maintain the port number if you want to use that port number okay so if we do this remember we created our security groups that superset security group that allows um traffic inbound traffic to that server to our superset server so we allowed it and then now we want it not to bind its host ip address to 127.0.0.1 so we have to explicitly uh, declare our IP address as 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. And then if we press enter, it's going to launch but at that IP address. But remember, remember, this is simply, um, we're still running superset in development mode, right? So now if we are to open a browser, let me just open, um, incognito if we were to open a browser then let me copy the ip address of our superset server from the ec2 instances if we copy that ip address we can either use the public dns or we can i explicitly use the public ip v4 ip address with the port number we should see superset running Press enter. Let's wait and see. Mm. And then you're going to see that it's going to take some time and like it's going to take forever to connect. And why? This is because our superset server that we're trying to access, right? 
doesn't have an inbound rule that allows us or any other user out there in the on the internet to access that server through that port so if we go to our security rules you're going to see that if we select the superset server this is our superset server this is the public ip address right this is the one that we're trying to access on port 8088 right so i need you to remember this when, if you click on view inbound rules, you're going to see that the inbound rules that we have, there are only TCPs with port 80 and then TCP 22, uh, 3306 for MySQL. So we need to add another rule, a custom TCP this time. So go down to your network and security category and then click on security groups again after clicking on security groups then go to select your superset the group name select it and then you're going to see this this part and then click on edit right if you click on edit we need to add a rule a custom tcp rule so we're not adding an, an http here we, adding a custom tcp rule so if we add a custom tcp rule we then specify the port number that we want so here for example we want port 8088 right and then i know this is not secure for all source to have all this probably you're gonna have to put um assuming that you have a vpc virtual private cloud uh, you're gonna have to put the ip address ranges and all that I'm not going to talk about all that security issues. I'm just going to here. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you hints. So after this, you do this custom TCP rule, and then you click on save. The minute you save it, and then the changes are effected. If you go back to our browser that has been trying to access Superset on the same port 8088. Um, it should work this time like so as you can see it is already now accepting inbound traffic uh, via that port 8088 right you can as well use instead of using the if we go back to the instances if you instead of using the IP address you can uh, as well use the public DNS it works the same way you copy it um and let's paste here and then add our port 8088 and then press enter uh, it works exactly the same um, i'm sorry my internet is a bit slow uh, i'm in zimbabwe by the way um uh, having some difficulties with our electricity and all that but then carry now on this tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna be using just the ip address but it's possible to use the public dns right now after that you can then log into your superset this i'm pretty much sure you remember the credentials of the username and password the credentials of the user that we created so after the login in you're going to see that we are now actually accessing superset that is being hosted on an ec2 instance right there is nothing on my dashboard there is nothing here as well uh the database sources this is where the bigger part of this tutorial comes in so now we go on here and let's try to add a new data source if you click on sources click on database it's going to give us this page you click on this add new record we're not adding any new uh, we're not clicking the new button that big one but rather i'm sorry um click on sources sorry click on sources then databases and then click on this um, small uh, floating action button click on it this is where we now try to access or connect our database to superset 
So what we are now doing here is we're trying to connect our MySQL database server that is on the MySQL server to the superset server. These are two in C2 instances, right? So let's do this. AWS DB, my AWS DB. Okay. Ah, that's good. Okay. Uh, my AWS, I had created something previously, I guess, um, but it was on a local machine. So this time we created our user UI, remember, our database user UI, and then we created logged 89, right? And then at that port, so we now have to specify the IP address of where we are getting our, uh, where our MySQL server is residing. So if we click again, you click on MySQL server, you take this big part, always use this big DNS, the public DNS, use this one. It works quite well as well. But if you don't want, you can use the IP address. It works well as well. And then without going anywhere, you test the connection. You're supposed to get an error. So this is the error that Ananya was getting. This is the same error where it is telling us that we cannot find the MySQL DB, right? We cannot find the MySQL DB. Go back to our server and then we need to stop here to stop this server the running um, the running superset we need to stop it me deactivating it's uh it's just a way of making sure that i release the port as well so don't be alarmed because if i try to run superset again without stopping it or exiting sometimes it gives you a, that error that uh another address is using the same port number so it's me just trying not to uh waste your time showing or displaying such an error So with that error, even if we, we are going to try and install MySQL client, um, I have a book that, uh, just a book of errors that I've been writing, um, something that I might show you or attach maybe. So when we're going to need to install MySQL client, right? So we we'll go back to this post and then you do MySQL pip install. This is what's going to happen. It's not going to find anything because it's one of those issues with uh, my SQL client now. So we're going to have to find a way of going about it right so um just going around googling you're going to see that somebody tried it before so let's try that and see what happens but remember initially we had installed python 3.6 dash dev and then what really matters is this part But anyways, I'm going to install both of them and see what happens, right? So now if we try to do a pip install MySQL client, we're supposed to be successful. You see, now it's successful. I'm still having trouble with my will, but I don't know why clear and then do a pip freeze again to see a list we're supposed to see my sql client now 
we have it right here, right? So after that, let's try to launch Superset again and see if we will be able to connect to, to the local database. It's running. We go back and then um, let me just copy this and let me refresh to refreshing as this and see if we are able to get our problem solved so now we have solved the error that Anya has been experiencing right we are now experiencing a different error and this time it's an error 2000 it cannot connect to the server on this ip address or the public dns right why then is it not connecting 